Hey guys, it's Rodnock right here. I thought I'd show you guys my winter impulse purchase that I made. Completely impulse. I mean, I bought this machine. It was just completely unplanned, but I just had to do it. So without further ado, let's get this started here. Well, everyone, meet Neil. This is my 2004 Chevy Silverado 1500 work truck spec. It is a 4.3 and a 5 speed. And it has nearly 300,000 miles on it and it shows. This is one threatening GMP 800 right here. Obviously we got tattoos going on. No tailgate, we don't need that where we're going. GMT 900 rims on a GMT 800 actually look really nice. There you go. Not far from 300,000 miles. This thing runs like a champ. Oh, why did I buy another 4.3 after Brenda's been on her 4.3 Sega for the last six or seven years? Oh, this one's proven. It really is. Got some custom things from the last owner. This is something I did. I put these toe mirrors on, but everyone makes fun of them. They call them different names. I call them accordion mirrors. already has a fuel pump access door so I'm ready for that I got the sticker for Neil but that was a complete failure you see but it makes the point it really is an endangered species crank windows manual everything I mean that was also already upside down. Believe me, I did not do that. And I don't plan on changing it. It's part of Neil's personality. But the only luxury that this thing has is dual zone climate control and AC. That's it. That's the base models you can pretty much get for a GMT 800. So yeah, Neil was a complete impulse purchase on my part. But he was very much worth it. I mean, he's a lot of fun to drive. And when I do Brenda's project coming up here, and I'm going to be getting an engine for her. And I need something to haul it with. Well, I got it. If I break her 4 all slippy E, I got something to haul it with. Oh, well, yeah. The name Neil comes from the name inside the dash. If you're not familiar, every almost every GMT 800 has a name inside the dash. You pull this bracket off, and it's right up on that side. It's whoever quality control inspected the truck. There's Barb, Christy, Pam, Neil, Dad. I'm sure there's more that I have not seen, but I've seen the majority of them in the threatening GMT 800 group. I'll take you guys for a ride in this old man. You know. effect really I mean if you weren't looking at that odometer 
you would not know that this truck has nearly 300,000 miles on it. You just would not know. It drives straight. It's quiet as hell. I had to do the rear brakes because of rear brakes, especially on the driver's side, were completely shot. I mean, the last guy ran it until the caliper actually was tearing apart the rotor. And I'll try and put a picture of it in the video if I still got a picture of what it looked like. I mean, it was horrible. is not accurate because my tire size is not correct so right now I'm actually doing 65 close to well yeah you would not know this has nearly 300,000 miles on it I've not driven a GMT 100 that drives this damn good But what really sold me was a 5-speed. I mean, it's a dying breed. It really is. Another one. That's another funny story. On my way to buy this, I probably saw at least 30 GMT 100 trucks. And what is up with this light? This is gonna be fun. I do not understand why they got this light set up like this. I ain't never seen this before. <laughs> Unless the power's out over here. We did get some wicked wind yesterday. What's up with that light?
me nearly had to lay her down <laughs> oh man <laughs> hope you guys saw that what i just saw and he almost hit them grass clippings <laughs> oh man I'm getting this light. Nope, I don't see any traffic. Never mind. And even the cops aren't using their headlights. <laughs> In reference to my last video. Yeah, if you're somebody that don't run your lights when it's this dark, well, probably don't look that dark to you guys. But to me, it's pretty dark. It's kind of hard to see you. Oh, man, people can read my mind. Holy shit. That's kind of funny. Thanks, light. Just like my old car, Danny. Just like him, just on the other side. I had an old grammar key named Danny that was wrecked when I bought him. The whole passenger side was smashed in just like that. I ended up wrecking him myself and that finished him off. Missed that car. And then after Danny, I ended up with Big Bertha and... Tell you one next video you guys see with Neil, we're probably gonna do something about that oil pressure there. As it's, as it's warming up for the summer, I'd like to see a little bit more pressure there. Just a little. So that'll probably be in a video coming up for Neil. Otherwise, you'll probably see him in plenty of the shenanigans that go down. Anyways, I'm going to end it off there. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.